Well, I'm Jeff Deese with USDA Rural Development. I'm the Business and Cooperative Program Director in Oregon. And uh, Oregon is a fantastic state. There's a tremendous amount of communities, and really we're like a microcosm of rural America. We've got uh, extremely remote communities. We've got close-in communities near metropolitan areas. What our agency does is it provides uh, an array of programs to support economic development in those communities uh, to try and help them respond. One of the things that we've seen that is really kind of a, a very interesting uh, common denominator in a lot of Oregon communities is uh, a real interest in the Soroli uh, enterprise facilitation model of uh, building businesses from the ground up, micro enterprises, and helping existing businesses be successful. Uh, so I'm always interested in what's successful and what do people like. We have actually had five different communities all across the state come to us and ask for assistance uh, in us a number of years back, maybe five or six years ago, two areas in eastern Oregon, Baker and Wallowa County asked for our assistance through this enterprise facilitation program. I know that the model of the Soroli system approaches things a little bit differently than the traditional way. There's a little more uh, mentoring that goes along with it and helping reach uh, several different aspects of what's needed for business success and they absolutely loved it. They were very excited about what they were seeing and uh, they just couldn't get enough about the number of businesses they were able to assist through the program. And then, uh, lo and behold, more and more communities came to us and said, we want enterprise facilitation as well. And uh, we saw that again and again in North Sandium Canyon area, in Oak Ridge. Oh, oh why are you you're standing right here beside me? Also, uh, wanted it. And uh, so that has been extremely uh, encouraging to see uh, that they have really gotten a lot of success with that. They feel that it's able to meet uh, the business needs. I know that the communities that have used it have come back and said, hey, we love this. We want to do it more. And uh, to me, I think that speaks volumes about how successful it's been. And really more than anything, actually, what we look for is that there's, a, that there's leveraging and partnership, um, that there's a lot of entities that are standing behind the project. And that's for sure what we have seen in some of the Soroli projects that have come to us is lots of different groups are all aligning and saying this is really what we need. It's largely about sustainability is what we look for. And so um, the more we can see that there are different community groups that are saying we're going to stand behind this, we're going to support this, really has to be a local decision uh, in order for it to be for it to be real and sustainable really and when they can come in and say we've got the support of all these different groups and we all want to do this that gets my attention we we love it when we can you know put some seed capital in get something up and running and then it's going to be sustainable be able to stand on its own feet and i think they've had really good success with these programs so we're glad we could be a part of that success at usda rural development